Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And anyone else who might be watching if I share this video. And this is Jaina. And this is a very special video to my parents. So all the other people, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm only going to talk to my parents. Um, especially you, Mom. Um, because obviously you will most appreciate what I'm about to show you. Um, which is my clothing collection. <laughs> the phone is low, so I'm going to kneel. Okay, my clothing collection is three phases. Items I've always had that I like to dress up in the past few years. Uh, items that Jen gave me. Um, items that we got on our first shopping trip at thrift stores. And items that we just got yesterday, which are most of them. So there's actually a lot of clothes. I'm gonna make this as fast as possible because I just wanna show you what I got. And I think everything I got is very meaningful and significant to me because it, it's like what I see and feel as my style. And I've, I've always had this style because it's been clothes that girls would wear and I noticed that and Rather than thinking, oh, you know, she looks hot in that, or, you know, that's she's attractive, it was more like, wow, that's a beautiful dress, or, oh, I want that skirt, you know, and I didn't understand those thoughts at the time, um, but now I do. I had a taste, and uh, my eye would, like, jolt to something that, I, that spoke to me, so I finally now have a style and wardrobe of my own, so I get to create my style and copy my style from things I see here and there, but mostly it's my crazy concoction. Um, I do want to say I have way more dresses than I thought I did, so those will take a little bit of time to get through, but what I'm going to do is pull an item to the camera, show it off, maybe say something about it, and then move on. But I'm not going to rush myself or anything, because my phone has lots of battery left. First thing is going to be, there we go, now I can stand. First thing, obviously, is this I'm wearing right now. These I got yesterday. And Jen was with me and we went on a shopping trip at a thrift store and we got literally a cart full of clothes for the same price of like two designer shirts at Macy's. It's, we got a steal and that's why I'm so excited. Okay, versus shoes. I'll do two at a time. So these are my favorite because these are all flats. So these are like Dorothy, there's no place like home shoes. And my second favorites, bow and a blue, bluish sparklies. They're very comfortable and I've, I've worn these out and it's like walking on a cloud, I guess you would say. Next up are very similar style, obviously. Flats. These are a bit stiff, but I love the inside, if you can notice. And they're also American Eagle. So these probably cost $40 to $50 at American Eagle. New. We got them for about $3 or $4. These remind me of like a 1920s lounge. <laughs> I don't know, like where there should be a jazz band playing with these. They glow bronze-like. They're very nice. Next. Oh. Now, super comfortable shoes. These are snug, and they also are very comfortable. So, yes, I... At first, I thought I would get a lot more girly shoes, like heels and pumps and whatnot. No, I just need these. They're happy. They make me happy. Now, I'm moving on to the skirts. I like, I do like skirts, so, um, I can't decide if I like a skirt and a, a shirt better than a dress, or if I like a dress better. I think dresses win that battle, but these are amazing. Okay, these I've had for years. These are actually Jen's sister's old, this is her sister's old skirt, and when she came over the other night, um, she saw me wearing this skirt and was like, what? <laughs> she almost wanted it back. 
Luna. Okay, looks like Luna will be joining me in this room. This one also, Blast from the Past. Probably had this for six years or more. Very plain black skirt. Very short though, so I, I, I won't wear it very often. Oh, I guess I should hold them up. There we go, this is nice. It's actually like shirt, shirt, shorts, skirt, shorts, skorts, or whatever you call it. I don't know, there's, it, you wear them like shorts, but it looks like a skirt. This is a very beautiful dark tapestry. This goes well with so many things and I love the texture. It would go really good with this shirt too. Very similar as the last one, except more bold, vibrant, contrasty, uh, geometric shapes. Mm, that angle is acute, so you could call it a cutie. Ha ha. Um, that's a top. Okay. This is actually a top, but uh, for obvious reasons, not for me, so I wear it as a skirt. That was actually Jen's idea. And it's very long too. And this reminds me of like a going to church on a Sunday skirt. Okay. Unfortunately, not many skirts. Uh, need to fix that, but no rush. I got plenty to live off. Uh, Luna is in the shower eating Old Spice deodorant. She can play with that for a little bit. Um, okay, next are the dresses, and there are a lot of them, so I will go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start out with one of my favorites, one of my favorites, just got yesterday. Oh, yeah. I, these are my favorite colors, and they're bold and colorful, and it comes, it scrunches here form-fitting. So this is gonna be a really nice going out dress and I'll probably wear it a lot. Okay, I gotta create a place to hang these. Okay, let's jump around so I don't show you all the similar ones first. It's Jen's old dress. I like to use that as like a nightgown. It's very soft. Reminds me of the country. Um, on that last dress I showed you, I'll give you a better close up. Uh, definitely one of my top three. This is a very, actually thick and ruffled dress. Very form-fitting as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to show what it looks like. <laughs> now, I didn't like this one at first, but Jen says when we get some stuff that can like wrap the middle, like a large belt or something with a ribbon, then this one will work out well for me. Because I think it looks just too plain like a potato sack, but with anything here would transform it. And take off these cat ears. <laughs> Similar style to the last one, except colors. Again, I, I want something like brown, dark brown right here. I believe Jennifer got this one on Amazon or eBay, oh, sorry, eBay. She got an eBay quite a few years ago. It was very cheap. Um, in fact, we find a lot of, we found a lot of clothes on eBay from uh, Asian sellers and they would sell them like three dollars for some elaborate skirt or dress and then you pay of course eight dollars shipping but that's still an eleven dollar dress really good deal 
the quality does lack those, so you have to not treat them harshly. Oh, here we go. My favorite thing, yeah, again, it scrunches in the middle. I really like that because it helps offset it. Ow. This one is a very super long salmon colored dress. And it goes all the way down to the feet. Another long dress like the last one. Okay, this one I haven't worn yet because it won't work for my situation. But I can't wait to wear it. I mean, I guess I could make it work, but it would just be kind of awkward. But this reminds me of a peacock, obviously. There we go. <laughs> kind of same situation as the last dress. Excited to wear this one, but won't work with a very bulgy, bulky bra. And, and I am wearing a bra, by the way, my lovely parents, and padding. Uh, not because I have to, but because it makes me feel good about expressing my gender identity because breasts are a part of the female experience. And I can't make you understand me, but I could try to explain it. It's like being pulled by the heart, spirit, or gut in a general direction. And that, of course, the direction is the female life experience, which I'm pursuing. And you kind of want to have all elements that you can get because that's a part of the transition. I have a head in my mouth. Bah. It's just a pause. I can't pause the video. Yeah, I can't pause the iPhone video. Bah. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, so the part of the female experience. So if there's something that can make me feel more feminine, it's like I crave and want it. Much like I have my accessories, these necklaces that Jen gave me. She got this rainbow jewel a few days ago and turned it into a necklace. And I have this purple heart. See, accessories. So it just makes me feel better, makes me feel more comfortable, calm. And sometimes it gives me a sense of euphoria. And that's, that's called gender euphoria, where you feel glee and butterflies and warm and fuzzies just for ex being able to express yourself or express myself in a feminine way compared to gender dysphoria where it's feeling like you don't belong in your own body I kind of felt that a little bit I actually didn't feel that a lot because even when I was presenting as male I didn't have as much um, animosity against my masculine features it's just that I craved feminine features 20 million times more Moving on. This dress, in my opinion, it goes along with the something needs something in the middle category. And I would do something bright red. And then it would make me look like Minnie Mouse. That's funny. I actually didn't even know this was in my wardrobe. Uh, well, that's how crazy life is. This is fun. I think Jen gave it to me and recently, but I might have been distracted when she showed it to me. Look at those bright colors. This is awesome. And I don't, I don't know, just, just now, Mom, it makes me think of you for some reason. I don't know what it is. Is it the colors or the patterns? I don't know, but it makes me think of you. Or maybe you had something like this and that's just my long-term memory kicking into gear. All right, five left. That's a very dainty sundress. Nice flowery patterns. A super fun one. 
I would call this a cocktail dress if I drank cocktails, but I don't. I drink mocktails. So this is a mocktail dress, at least what I think is one. Something playful, cute, sporty, um, a little, little bit zesty, sexy. It's not very long. Uh, it would come up to right here. So it would show half my thigh. I don't try to be sexy or anything, but I have worn this a few times. And now that I think about it, I did get a few looks one of those times. <laughs> Guys, I guess, checking me out. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't bend that direction. Okay, some of these you might have already seen in videos or in pictures, but I'm showing them again. In my top five favorites, I love the colors, so navy blue, and it looks reddish right now. Navy blue, yellow, and white. You can't go wrong with polka dots. Last. Two. Okay, the very first one I showed you was was well, buried. I can't get it, but it was very bright and colorful. This is also bright and colorful, but, uh, obtuse, bold, stunning, and good. A nice modest length. So fun. That's probably going to be in my top three favorites once I actually try it on. Well, I mean, I tried it on already before I bought it, but not long enough to actually get a feel for it. Okay, and this one, Jen, yesterday Jen had passed this one up and found several other of those dresses, but I saw this one and I picked it up as if I knew it was exactly my size and it turned out it was. And I begged her to let me try it on and Jen fell in love with it too. So. Definitely one of my favorites because of the colors and how it works. Um, you wear it like normal, but you got these extra cool things to tie in the back. And it's a very nice burgundy maroon color. So this is definitely probably one of my favorites, but it's also very formal and I wouldn't wear it often. I guess that means I have to do more formal things to just so I can wear this. <laughs> Yay! All right, just a few shirts and we are done. This is Jennifer's shirt she gifted to me. That's right. You can't be a girl without Hello Kitty. And it's a, a nice, uh, almost full width sweater. Very, very sporty and comfy. And I'm running out of places to put these clothes. Speaking of cats... Meow. Ah, you're gonna like this one! I actually bought this in February when I was there. Funny part, I grabbed the shirt that said small, but I didn't look at the gender, and it's a female shirt. And I thought, oh, what? It's going to waste. And then a couple months later, it clicked. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Uh, this is one of Jen's older shirts. I don't know what it says. I really do not know what it says. Some, probably some branding. Oh. Super awesome. Another one that reminds me of mom. Cuddle coffee, sleep pizza, yes, weekends, roses and chocolate. <laughs> the back is the really cool part. I wish more shirts did stuff like this. Ooh, this and this. Great combo, I must remember this. 
Jen is over there taking a nap. I'm trying to talk quiet. <laughs> this one stuck out to me because I have clung so hard to positivity in the midst of all this, especially the the season from hell of th almost four months ago. I'm glad to be out of that, and I cling to positivity as if it's a like a life buoy in a storm, and it's it's worked. Even on really bad days, I'll still feel like an inner joy and positivity. So that that's really good for me, and I'm gonna try to keep that momentum going. Positive vibes. I'll just bring two at a time. This is very plain. I guess you need some very plain shirts. This one's not so plain. Jen says that it's a shirt you wear with the leggings because it's see-through at the very bottom in Philly. So I like, I like where she's going with that and I can't wait to try this one off. I mean, a second time. Well, this is the first shirt I got myself, um, but definitely one of my favorites. I call it Fall on Flames or Autumn on Fire. It, I love those rich colors and the frills are bonus points. A nice, uh, a nice like plain shirt. I guess, um, well, because everything is so new to me, I'm very overzealous about all my clothing and I want to look really good every time I go out, even if it's just to pick up a red box down the street. Uh, but, and that's going to wear out and when that or wears off, when that wears off, I will just want clothes I could throw on probably 80% of the time. I'll just throw something on and go out. And I, because I won't be thinking about it so much like I do now. Obviously because everything is new and fresh and exciting as it should be. But it won't be like that for long. So these are nice, or yeah, these are nice shirts to just throw on with some jean shorts or a skirt. I prefer skirts just because they're comfortable. And lastly, this is another very old shirt from Jen's collection that she gifted me. And another one of those shirts that remind me of mom. Uh, Luna, what are you eating? Uh, Luna's in our shower, throwing things on the ground. Well, I think that's it. I think that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, Mom and Dad. Um, obviously, it would be ideal to show these in person, but, and, we w and I will, but in the meantime, you have this silly video from your crazy daughter, Jaina. And thank you for watching. And if there's anyone else who watched this video, thank you for enduring that. I don't know why the heck you just watched me showing off random clothes. <laughs> I don't know. Mom, I love you. Dad, I love you. Thank you for all of your support and being here for me. Thank you for believing in me. And you are the best parents in the world. And I have no words um, except just a big smile because you are the world to me and actually I'm here because of you. I didn't go down the dark path or fall into the pit of death. I'm here and gonna make some amazing things happen in my life and, and yours too. And yep, yeah, I love you. Thank you for watching. Aloha. And you shall hear from me very soon again. Bye bye. I cannot find the button. <laughs> Boop. Okay, there it is. Bye.